This song is called Mary Had a Little Lamb. And in this song, we're going to review the three notes we've been studying with a combination of quarter notes and half notes. So at the end of each half note in this, you would take a quick breath in order to begin the next phrase. Legato style articulation or tonguing, breath control as always, flat chin, dimple face, proper placement of the reed on your lip, and then the song is a nice sound. So here is Mary Had a Little Lamb. I'll demonstrate it for you. And then certainly um, feel free to play along the second time. Well, one, two, three. So it was a basic sounding song, something that I'm sure you're very familiar with. But you just have to get used to adding a finger and then taking one away at a time. So it's one, two, three, two, one. If you can get that pattern, this song becomes easier. So I think that's um, new in a way. We've gone one, two, three, but slower. So now we're just kind of going at a nice, quick pace. So here it is again. Feel free to play along. One, two, three. trickiest part of this song is the ending. D, D, E, D, C. It's not a clarinet. It's okay to practice not making a sound for a while. Just practice moving your fingers. So you press two, two, one, two, three. And do that several times. Two, two, one, two, three. That way you get used to how the fingers are going to operate the keys. And by operating the keys, you're changing the pitch. Every time I add a finger or take one away, I am lowering the pitch and raising the pitch. Basically, the longer the air has to travel before it comes out of the clarinet, the lower the pitch will be. When we practice this hand, it just keeps getting Lower, 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 lower to the lowest note on the clarinet. So here we go one more time. Please try to play along this time. Nice breath control. And one, two, three. back and practice that ending, please do so. And remember, there's a backing track available for you to play on your own as well.